At the beginning of St. Therese of Lisieux's autobiography, Story of a Soul, the saint explains her purpose in writing. Under obedience to her superiors, she carries out the task of documenting her life, but she wants to make it clear that she does not wish to focus so much on herself. Rather, she proclaims, quoting Psalm 89, that she wants only to sing the mercies of the Lord. In fact, she sees all of her history, all of her life, as so wrapped in God's merciful love that she cannot speak of herself without speaking first and foremost about God. This is the attitude of a saint whose eyes have been opened to see the works of God in her life and whose heart is directed solely to God. Thus, even when she writes to others, even when she describes her own story, she cannot help but focus on God and sing about what he has done. This saintly single-heartedness is expressed beautifully in today's communion antiphon, which is also sung for the Feast of St. Therese. Each phrase of the antiphon ends with a direct reference to God, tua, te, tuo, altissime, creating a litany of praise directed at God, you, 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 the Most High. Like St. Therese, the psalmist speaks solely of the Lord and what he has done. And this recognition of God's mercy and providence leads to rejoicing and gladness, which is expressed musically in the lively figures at the end of the first and last lines, Antua and Altissime. This musical embellishment captures the joy of a soul who has learned to recognize the work of God in his life. Just as it was for St. Therese, the psalmist's recognition of God's all-encompassing providence causes him to rejoice and sing to God but also to proclaim this to others, as is expressed in the very first word, narabo, I will tell. As we ponder these words then, let us ask for the grace to see God's mercy at work in our lives, even in the bewilderment, suffering, and failure that accompany us daily. With the help of St. Therese's example and intercession, let us pray for that single-hearted focus on God, which cannot help but rejoice sing praise to God, and proclaim the wonders of his love. Narabo omnia mirabilia tu Letabor et exultabo inter Oh.